<coughs> ah, I was holding in a sneeze. I want it to be all cinematic and shit and have the title things happen. All right, whatever. Even if based on proven medical knowledge from the 1918s, vampire sometimes take liberties when establishing possible links between scientific theories and supernatural creatures for theatrical purposes. So don't get your panties in a twist, all right? In other words, do not try to cure any diseases with bleach, please. Do not drink a bottle of bleach. It will not help you. You will most likely die. In Vampire, you make choices. Here's the autosave icon. Take responsibilities for your action. Most like, uh, most, uh, fuck, can't, I can't speak. Almost like you should do that in everyday to day living, you know? In the real world. Anyways, welcome to Vampire. Vampire. But I like to call it Vampire, right? <coughs> I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. Well, a lot of things is wrong with me. I'm crazy in the head. Um, I don't know what the hell happened to me. Like, the moment I pressed the record button, my nose just got really stuffy, and now I got, like, sneeze like a fucking kitten. But, anyways, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, and everything that lies in between, to Vampire. Here. We are gonna play a vampire game. I'm not sure if you realize that now with all the blood and the spookiness and the gothic things. Little tidbit here. This, I wanna say it's probably my third time trying to get this fucking playthrough done. I planned this playthrough, well, I planned to do this when this game came out originally, and I think that was way back in 2017. So, whatever the fuck, man. We're gonna play it. Still haven't beaten this game, by the way. Played it, though. I kind of paid attention halfway. All right. The eye was in the tomb. Wait, what? The eye was in the tomb. What the fuck is that? I don't know what the hell that is. Empty that. There we go. New game. Oh, options. What do we got? Audio. Um. Master audio. Actually, I think I want to put that up by one. Languages, subtitles, let's just make sure, medium, cool, name of the speaker is on, gameplay, video, I don't think I need to fuck with any of that. New game. Story mode. Uh, what the fuck, wait, what? Combat is very easy, normal, combat difficulty, hard mode, well, I'm not trying to impress anybody, I don't care. We're gonna go with normal. We're gonna do that. My nose is like very stuffy right now. Maybe it's because I'm turning into a vampire. 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 Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under crown of stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. It is perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Is perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence confronted by the eerie and unknown mortals became desperate for answers a flock's flight makes for an omen the falling of a star a dire presage turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found when religion failed men turned to science I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness but lurking sun? What is war but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death? Pending. My man out here dropping fucking bars. That's crazy. I felt that. Dead. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Awaken from the harshness and be born once. 
Oh man, I feel like shit. I look like shit too. So I got a quick question. If mortality was punishment for us being assholes from God, then isn't that dude from Final Fantasy 3 kind of an asshole for giving Zandi mortality as a gift? Hello, ma'am. You looking like a fucking snack. I'm just gonna, you know, don't mind if I do. Mm-mm-mm. Scrump diddly umptious. Thank you for the meal. My sweet brother. What have you done? Mary! Uh, no. uh oh. Mary! I think I fucked up. Hold on. Please, hold on. She's dead. Miss Mary Matt. All dressed in black. Damn girl, you dead dead. I'm sorry. Fucker shot me. That shit hurt. These patrols are after me. Time to get the no, fuck no, out of here. Don't shoot. This is a nightmare. This is a really weird running animation. I need to get out of here. This can't be happening. You know what? It's been a while since I've touched this game, but no, ah. Please. Fuck! I mean you no harm. It's been a while since I touched this game, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't act for for a nice little indie. I, What's going on? It's not even an indie game. It's made by Donut, right? Yeah. So for a nice, for some reason it feels like an indie game though. I know. Oh Mary. Game still looks good to what me. Have I, done? I think it looks great. What's all this about? I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind if Vampire: The Masquerade no. 2 came out and it looked like this. Myself. I know some people will probably get angry and be like, what is this, is a PS2 game? Because, you? you know, those people are very smart. Ow. I'm doing it out of self-defense. You, you shot me. No you know, I gotta fight back somehow. I got the right to live, to survive. Who are you, stupid beast? 
Ah! Ah! He threw some pepper in my face. It fucked me up. I'm not a leech. I'm just a doctor. Ah, you guys are setting me on fire and shit. Stop shooting me. All right. I don't think we can pick up any items yet, so we just got to keep going. I'm holding back a sneeze. I mean you no harm. I I need help. Die, you fucking leech. Wow. Please listen to me. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast. Who are you? What is this all about? Ah! ah what in God's sake? I'll do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, ah, just, just leave me. Ah, 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 ah. And give me a mean ass sunburn. Sun. It feels like it's burning. Aggravated me to the bone. damage. Certain ailments like fire will leave aggravated damage. Reduce your maximum health. Oh shit, that's terrible. How do I how do I fix that? How do I heal myself? Oh my god. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. I'm I'm holding back a mean ass sneeze. And for some reason it doesn't want to come out. So it's like a constant feeling. I need to find somewhere to I'm not even sick. I don't know what the fuck happened to me before I started recording this Let damn me thing. Go. Bring it on, bitch! I'm too fast for you. I'm fast as fuck. You can't. You can't hit what you can't see. I need to find shelter. Is anybody there? What is this place? Place seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. All right. Ooh, what's this? Fire and sun. Leeches do not fear the sun of fire, and they do not burst into flames or ashes when they are caught under rays of daylight. But it hurts them pretty good, really good. I have personally changed a vampire to a tree to see what would happen when the sun raises it, uh, when the sun rises. Its skin blackened in a few minutes as if it was burning from the inside. Its eyes and flesh melted, and I saw its unholy bones move and squeal as the beast tried to escape all day long. In the end, only a dis 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 desiccated, only a desiccated corpse remained, which started to slowly regenerate when the sun disappeared behind the horizon. I cut his head off to finally destroy it, and when the and when I tried the same test with fire, the body of the bloody leech never came back from the ashes. Fire is our weapon of choice, brothers. Brothers, we must burn them all to the ground. Kill it with fire. From your known enemy, uh, uh from know your enemies by Carl El Eldrick, uh, Prewin leader. It was really hard for me to read that. Mainly because I'm stupid, but also because, oh my god, I gotta sneeze. Oh my god, it won't stop. It just hurts. <laughs> well, it doesn't hurt, but damn, it's hella fucking annoying. I'm at the sniffle. The microphone might pick it up. It's gonna sound like I'm very sick, but I'm not, I promise you. Uh. Maybe I should drink some tea or something. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. Mary, whoever killed you, I will find him and I will kill him. Oh wait, it was me. <laughs> Alright. So Vampire here has a lot of uh a lot of in-game lore and bullshit. 
which means there's a lot of reading to do and nice little notes here and there. So guess what? I'm not going to read all that because to my knowledge, I highly doubt that this game will ever have a sequel. But, uh, you know. Wait. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Pete in the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him a knee. I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> That's impossible. Damn, so I'm guessing that, I'm guessing whoever this poorly misshapen being is probably tuck my watch back for those fucking losers. That's cool. But yeah, I'm not going to read every goddamn note I see. So for the most part, if you want to read it, you should really pause the video. But, you know, uh, I think you can probably get a lot through context clues. I don't think it's really anything too crazy. You need to read on maybe like a handful of notes here and there This one's lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. No, it never got easy. I just wanted to be cool, like the Tom Cruise once was. How are you looking in the mirror? You're a fucking vampire. to accomplish I still have so much left that needs doing all right I still have so much left that needs doing so I guess I'll just go to sleep for a little bit bloody diary oh my god this is yeah that's that's a lot to read okay um Let's see, let's just read the last entry. I was hungry. I tried to go downstairs this morning. Becky was, st uh, was sitting in the armchair by the chimney. She was panting like a dog, looked at me without moving, just following me around the room with her eyes. I pointed the gun at her sore feet, but she did not react. I could not pull the trigger. I went back to my room. Uh, October 25th, the house is silent, like a tomb, no noises. Becky is dead now. Forgive me, my love. I was unable to save you. I'll be with you soon enough. See, now when I read that, I want to know what the fuck happened. Uh, scratching at the door. Becky just attacked me. She jumped. Uh, the man with the medical shovel had stopped digging the mass grave. I heard shouts last night. Becky threw up a meal a few hours. I went to London to find some groceries, drugs, no train. It took me a whole day. I talked with men, uh, well, with the mechanical shovel. Okay. Uh, bad sleep. Becky caught... Uh, Becky coughed all night, and the fever made her delirious. Heard a loud noise in the morning. A big machine. Uh, what? It's a big machine. Some men brought in by the banks. Okay, whatever. I don't fucking know. If you want to read that, you can read that. Go ahead. 
I'm gonna go to bed. I'm very tired. I had a rough night, and I have a lot to accomplish, apparently. This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. So be it. But I have a lot to accomplish. You said so yourself two minutes ago. Rational thinking only. Man, I'm pretty fucked up. I'm kind of hardcore too. Yeah, now put your finger in the in the fucking bullet hole and twist it around. Now I'm a sick son of a bitch. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Evolution. Hideout beds allow you to evolve and rest. Spin your experience. All right. Let's get some of that atherpage, whatever. I can't read. I'm not going to pretend that I know how to. All right. Now, get something that you want to use. You got blood claws, a uh, blood claws. You got claws. You got shadow mist. Or does this place a cloud of shadow at the target's feet or yours? The ca cloud would explode after a short time, causing heavy damage. Uh, let's see. Shoot spears. They're gonna fucking hurt. And claws, a close range strike that will cut through all living creatures in front of you. Uh, I am gonna go for the blood spear. I wanna be. Able to, I wanna throw blood magic. All right. You guys don't Voice. understand how much I I feels like I'm fucking dying right if I'm now. I'm not mad then. It must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. What the fuck? What is that picture? Huh. Alright, so here in uh, Vampire, it is heavily advised that you pick up every single item that you possibly can because you're gonna be using a lot of items in this game depending on how you play it. And the way I'm gonna play it is I'm gonna be a good vampire. I'm not gonna kill people unless I have to. Occupado, stay the fuck out. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. There's the leech. Here! Yeah, motherfuckers were hunting for me all night, for real. My head's spinning. All right. Clever little girl. Little girl? What the fuck? Where did I get that from? Wow. I, I feel like a jackass now. Clever girl. That's what it was. Clever little girl. Oh my god. 
Chris Hansen, please take me away. <laughs> that felt bad I'm saying it. Southwark. It really did. I must reach the West End. Go All right, home. I'm gonna walk around covered in blood. Because that's normal. Don't you do it. Don't you. Ah! Press triangle to use your stake to inflict stun damage. Die, uh, and then bite the ever living shit out of people. And suck their blood. The strength. The strength I never knew I had. Alright. For the most part, you want to check all the enemies you defeat because they drop shit here and there. Oh shit! Uh. Ow. Ow. Fuck. Damn. All right, stop it. Stop. So cut the fuck out. You hurt me too much. Ow. Every sinew, every fiber of my being is a fire. I guess because it's still early, they're not really dropping much items. Don't you do it! Ah! I gotta get used to how this controls. You guys are just fucking me up left and right. Ow. Alright, there we go. Get some of my blood black uh some of my blood black. Get some of my blood back. There you go, they are dropping items. Okay. Just gotta just gotta look better. Okay, so if you haven't noticed by now, the game kind of controls a little bit, a little Dark Souls-like, that type of battle scheme. Battle scheme? B battle plan? Battle pass? Whatever. But yeah, it's not it's not hard or anything. It's This game is not a Dark Souls. It's not challenging or anything. That's just how it controls, so... You know, it's not, not that bad. Let's see. Your king and country needs you. Join the British ranks and help... Help the brave lads at front. My yeah, I'm not gonna do that. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. I have this thirst for blood. Get used to hearing that voice line whenever you feed off of a rat. This is disgusting. I can't believe I'm doing this. Where's the other rat? There's another one around here. Right? No, I, I, I ate them all. They were delicious. Alright, it's time for him to say a line that I love hearing. I cannot enter. Damn it, that was the wrong line. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> Whenever there's like a voice line of a locked door. In a video game. I love it. It's locked. To dizziness it's from the locked, jump. All right. It's I locked. I can now control it. I cannot enter. I cannot enter. It's locked, all right. It's locked, all right. <laughs> I don't know why I like that voice line. I do. I know you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that I'm crazy. It's not that funny. He's just saying the door's locked. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you yourself to look around your room and make sure nobody hears you. And I just want you to go. It's locked. It's locked. What all right. London have to say to me? The door is locked. And then you're gonna you're gonna go like you know what? That is so fun to say for some fucking reason. It's very satisfying too. It's locked. All right, and you know what? After you do that, I want you to put down in the comments and tell me Another that the door is locked. Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? I want to see the comment section just filled with people going, "It's locked. It's locked, all right." I cannot enter. The man has been drained of all blood. 
but I can still smell the scent of it. Maybe because you're playing around in it and it's raining. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Press the button for your senses. Fresh blood. We can all Smell thank Batman so Arkham Asylum for the good old sense button. Detective mode. <laughs> so many games have Batman to thank. Yeah, detective mode. You just press the button and then everything's either blue, green, black, whatever. Where has everyone gone? To the rapture. They were taken. Hideouts. Hey. Yeah, let's go run in the height. Wait, is this going to load? Okay, cool. Hideouts is where you can spend bullshit to get XP. How you get XP? Well, we're, we're, we'll learn about that in a bit. Refill. Even though I don't need to refill, but refill. Here you can craft shit. You're gonna need to craft shit to heal people. Alright, you know what? Actually, let's just let's just get it over right now and explain it. Alright, so. Vampire. A big old game vampire with decisions and people and social trees and all this other bullshit, right? If you kill somebody, it'll change how things are affecting the world. You can choose to not kill anybody. You can choose to kill everybody. The payoff for that is that you get big experience point depending on how healthy they are. And, uh, you know, you kill them, you take their blood, and you come a go, you get, become a strong vampire, right? And then, oh my god, I feel so fucking congested. Alright, and then, uh, whatchamacallit, you become a big powerful vampire, but, you know, moral choices and all that bullshit. So, you're gonna grab a bunch of items, right, and you're gonna throw them all together to make nice little remedies for people to keep them nice and healthy the healthier you keep the areas the cleaner they are the cleaner the areas the less amount of dickhead enemies will be around right but then that also comes with a bit of a problem see if you're goody two shoes 100 percent of the time chances are you're probably going to end up being under leveled as shit that's the trade-off you get but then you kind of win the moral victory bullshit Whatever, it's a video game. Do what you want. I don't care. No one's gonna live and die by the end of it because it's a video game. All right. You can also uh, upgrade items that you get and dismantle others, right? There's literally no reason in keeping these. Well, I guess you can sell them for shillings, but I mean, you're gonna get a lot of shillings anyways, and it's better to just dismantle them for parts. So, all right. Whenever you want to level up, you sleep in a bed, time will pass by a day, and then whatever happens to the societies, people will get sick, people will be healed, whatever the fuck, I don't know. Alright. And that's pretty much the main crux of it. Now time to enjoy my goddamn vampire game. At last, a little life. Welcome, sir, to the Turk Wars Turk. Oh, also, here's another thing. I gotta explain it, too. Alright. When you talk to people, they all are very intricate and everything like that. So, you talk to people, you find things about them, you talk to them about the things you find out. The more information you get on someone, the higher their experience points will be if you're gonna snack on them. And the more story you learn about them. People have certain... uh like relationships with other people that hinge on that or whatever guess what if you're like me you're not gonna kill anybody chances are unless you care about story you're not gonna worry about it oh god sir you look like jonah's whale just spat you out of hell can i get you a drink no thank you i'm not not thirsty well not grab thirsty. a chair and get some rest this is gonna be another long night i'm looking for somebody I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. All right. How long has he been here? How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? Who is this man? What does he look like? 
Like a gentleman, I guess. Well dressed, and quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir, uh, yes? no funny business. You hear me? This is a respectable establishment. All right, uh, sir. I know I look like shit, and I got a bullet hole in my chest, but I'm not going to do anything funny. Do I look like a funny guy to you? All right. I'm not going to talk to everyone else because there's really no reason to. It's one of those things where, like, you can ask a million questions for characters, and they're going to be like, I don't know, and then fucking you're going to find out anyway, so let's not worry about it. I have a common objective, but I require them. I think someone is eavesdropping. See you, sir. You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, Hello. Vampire. Ah. Are you? I mean you no harm. Say it's a vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. With anyone. Damn. Oh. Power of the Christ fucking compels me. Oh, that's Shit. Something I can do for you. Damn, that hurt. And who might you be? Fucking... I don't... What the hell? I won't tell. I don't know. You first. I don't think I'm in the position to actually say any of these. Okay, well... Uh... I don't know. I'm not sure that I know anymore. Might I at least learn the reason of your presence? That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like and a covered tree. in blood. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. Huh. I'm a victim too, man. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I'm performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Alright. Well, will you help me? What the fuck is the Brotherhood? And what exactly is this brotherhood sir if the name is not familiar to you then we shall discuss it another time see and that's why picking options like these are pretty much fucking useless then help me find the culprit i may if you'll first tell me why you opened this door i followed a trail the scent of blood from a recent victim it led me here you thought i was your aggressor that explains a great deal we are both chasing the same shadow. All right. Sure. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. Sir, I shot myself no. tonight. I think I, I do. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? Hmm. I'll demand answers because I'm a good guy. I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. All right. Now that I got your chair covered in blood, I'm out of here. But I'm going to steal your shit first. Chef's
Take off.